getting ready to draw with you today and really looking forward to it. So let's, let me just set one thing up, one second. And so I just set this up for Facebook. And here we go. All right, so today, guys, let me just get my feed up. One second. All right, here we go. So today we are going to create together. I thought it would be nice um, to draw a nice picture of a snail. And not just on another piece of paper, but perhaps create it on a card. So we're going to create some snail mail that you could gift to somebody, send to someone in the mail, um, give to your grandparents, someone that you've not seen in a while. Um, so we're going to do that in just a few minutes. I'm just going to let people hop on, see if we get anyone today. Hi, Julianne. Hi, girls. Hi, hi Manish. Um, so we're going to draw it on a greeting card. So don't worry if you don't have a greeting card. All you need is a piece of paper, a pen. It could be just a ballpoint pen. It could be a pencil. So don't worry if you don't have these exact things. I'm going to be using a thin Sharpie and I'm going to be coloring it with watercolors today. So whatever you have at hand will be enough. So don't worry um, if it's not exactly the same. So if you have a piece of paper at home and you don't have any greeting cards, which a lot of people won't have. Um, you're just going to get your piece of paper and you're going to line it up. You could ask mom or someone that, that's at home to do this for you. We're just going to join it up at the corners and we're going to fold it in the back so that we can actually turn this into a greeting card, just like that. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi, Jones. Hi, Molly. Um, so I'm just going to talk for a minute and see if anyone else hops on. We have a few people watching right now, which is great. Um, as you can see, I'm not in my home office. I'm actually in a different building. We moved, Lana and I moved the equipment over to a, a new office because it was just too noisy at my house with my dogs and I couldn't focus. And with um, the way of the world, we figured that it'd be better to be in a um, one location um, you know, and have everything set up at our fingertips instead of in my house. So I just want to make sure that the signal isn't dropping. I'm not sure if it is. So if you have any issues, please type to me because I want to make sure before I start teaching. I'm going to just try it, see if there's any messages from you guys. So because I'm actually not seeing your messages, but then, hi Jillian. Hi Pamela, hi Juliana in North Haven. I haven't seen you for so long. I hope you're doing well. Hi Betsy, hi everyone in Milford, to the Perulis. All right guys, so like I said, if you don't have a, a blank greeting card at home, don't worry, just get a piece of paper, get someone to fold it for you nice and evenly. It's better to do it with cardstock, so like a thicker piece of card, but you can really do it out of anything. If you have just a piece of printer paper, that's all you need. So once you've folded that, we are gonna get started. So let me, it looks like people are still hopping on. I'm gonna give it one more minute, okay? I'm gonna talk to you and then we can get started. Today's kind of a cool day, actually, because I have a friend over at Fox News, and. Um, Matt and he is going to be coming to visit me today. So Matt, the everyone's favorite weatherman, is stopping by the studio today to say hello to the kids and to come up to see our new virtual studio. And um, so that's going to be exciting afternoon. All right. So you have to look out for us on the news. All right, guys. So let me do one more thing, and we'll get started. So you can all say hello to Spike, to Mimi, Harry Hopper, if he, if he's there, and there we go, and Giggles. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get started. I'm going to try and get started. <laughs> all right, so we're going to be making snail mail today. So we're going to make it on a nice piece of card. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to actually have this out the whole time. I'm just going to let you look at it for a second because when I have a blank piece of paper, it's actually difficult to film because the camera doesn't know where to focus. So I'm going to keep it on there until I just get a little bit of color to this. And I'm actually going to draw straight onto my greeting card. All right. Yeah, give me one second. I want to make sure. Hi, Maverick. Maverick, I've missed you. I'm glad that you're watching today. Oh, thank you for your comment, Leslie. All right, good. Okay, guys, let's get started. So if you've got your piece of paper and you've folded it in half, we can worry about what we're going to put inside after. But on the outside, let's have a look at our snail for our snail mail. And let's break down this shape, shall we? So, and this is really easy. You guys can do this at home. So when you're looking at your, your little mushroom here, you can see it looks like a half of a circle. So let's start with that. But can you see how the snail, um, his body is kind of wiggly? So we're not going to go straight over. Um, let me get a pencil. Give me one second. All right. So I'm going to draw this bit with a pencil. So you guys should be drawing with a pencil too, okay? Hi, Natasha. So we're going to go all the way over like this. So it looks a bit like the top of an umbrella or half of a circle. And it doesn't have to be even across because you can see this one is lower at one side and it gets higher at the other. So on the, on my card, the placement I have done here is, is pretty much in the middle. I'm going to have my snail up here, so I want to leave room for my snail. So depending on how big you want your snail, hi, Danielle. Um, Leave enough room for the for your snail shell. That's the kind of the bulkiest part of it, okay? And then we're gonna draw in the next bit. So we're not gonna go straight across in a straight line unless you really want to. We're gonna make this kind of a bit wavy, some little dents in it. It doesn't have to be a perfect straight line. And I'm gonna outline this better so that you can see it. Okay, and I'm not. In, I'm intentionally not going to draw this side until we've drawn the body of the snail on. So this is why we're doing it in pencil first. Everything else I'm actually going to draw straight into pen so that you can see it nicely. If you have any comments, guys, just let me know because I want to make sure that I am not going too fast for you and that you are all able to keep up. Okay, and as you can see behind me, I have my little Conrad and um, Percy the pig. Um, Conrad's over on one of the shelves over there, so that's one of my new newest characters to the giggling pig. All right, so after we've done our um, half a circle and we've drawn joined up the bottom, we're going to draw in this part right here. So I'm gonna go down slightly at one side, not too long. So two little lines down. Just like that. Hi, Miss Allie. Okay, and we're gonna join up. We're gonna kind of move it upwards. So it's gonna look more rounded. It's not going to be a straight line across. It's rounding upwards. I'm going to do it. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit different than this drawing that we did. Um, Miss Lindsay drew this one, I think, and we never draw the same thing exactly the same. Okay, guys, so once you've done that, you're going to draw your line down. So again, I'm going to go over all of this with you. I'm going to keep going over this with you so that you can catch up and, and join in. Um, so remember that we drew our line all the way over the top, but I'm leaving this side penciled because I'm going to draw in the snail. And then instead of drawing a straight line across, we kind of made it, made it a bit uneven and put in some um, little jagged edges. And then we did our two lines down and we joined this piece up right here. Does anybody have any feedback before I move on to the next step? Because 
Like I said, I always like to make sure that you're all um, able to follow along. Hey, Sarah and Bella and Seth in England. Hi, Xander. I think you're in Milford. It's nice to see you on here. Um, okay, so once we've done that, we've done one line down at one side, we're going to draw the other one at the other side. And you can decide if you want it to be more sloped than this. Um, I'm kind of, and then I'm, as you can see from that top line, I've just tucked it in behind there so that it gives the impression that the stem is moving up and there's some, I'm going to actually shade this in right here so you can see, and you can do this too if you want. Does that make sense? Probably, probably not. <laughs> I love that Bella and Seth are watching. Um, Seth was a winner of a competition last week and um, he entered from England and he won. So that was great. Um, who else do we have on here that I know? I met Juliana in New Haven before when I was doing some deliveries to her house. And I'm glad you're doing fine, Juliana. Okay, guys. So once you've done that, we'll leave the bottom half alone for a minute because um, we can do some really cool details down here in just a minute. But we're going to focus on our snail right now. Let me just quickly decide how big I'm going to have my shell. All right. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw in our shell first and we don't have to do all the details. We're just gonna focus on doing the shape of the shell so that we can go in and do the details after. We're just gonna put in the body of the snail and then go back and do all the fancy stuff, okay? So slightly above the top of the mushroom, um, I am gonna draw this. So as you can see, it's not quite a circle. It's got a flatter bottom to it, and then it, it curves up and around. So a little bit flatter here, and then up and over. So you can see it's not quite going to be touching the top of the mushroom. I'm going to draw the body in next. Am I going too fast for anyone, or is everybody OK? Let me have a look. Yes, I'll wait, Pamela. Heather wants to know if it's okay to draw it on a rectangular paper as a... Yeah, absolutely. You can do um, you can do it on any piece of paper, and you really don't have to turn it into a card. I thought it would be nice to do something a little bit different today, um, and we'll call it snail mail, and you could send it to somebody. So you could even just put it... You know, if you want to give it to someone to make their day, you can just put it in an envelope and mail it off. It does not have to be on a greeting card. Okay, so now we've done this. We're going to draw in the body shape. Okay, so we're going to go at the back. We're going to just draw a short line from the back of the shell down onto the top of the mushroom. And we're going to put, instead of a straight line, we're going to do this kind of wavy line of the bottom of the snail because it's kind of like a slug, isn't it? They're, they don't have any legs. They just kind of wiggle along, push themselves along. So we're doing this nice little wavy area. And we're going to turn it back up towards the head. So I'm going to give you a second to do that, guys, because I know everybody goes at a different pace. But while you're doing that, what can I talk to you about? Um, let me see. This afternoon, I'm actually going to be painting a cool picture in my class with my um, live with my Zoom kids that join me. We're actually going to be making this picture today. So I know a couple of you from class are actually on this live session right now. So you guys will have to be prepared for this afternoon. We're going to be making this with watercolors later today. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And if anybody's interested in taking those classes with me, they're really fun. We meet every Tuesday at one o'clock. And um, Miss Lana's is at one o'clock on Thursdays. And we paint different things together. And it's a private Zoom uh, class, so we can see you and you can see us. All right, so once you've done that, guys, you've done the body and it's kind of wiggling along the um, top of the mushroom there. We've turned it back up towards the head. We're, we're now going to draw in from this side of the shell and we're going to draw in his eyes. So we're going to do a long line up 
with a little circle on the top, come back down. I'm going to draw this a couple of times for you guys, so don't worry. Um, so it, it kind of looks like the letter V in the middle here, and it's got two circles on the top for the eyes. And then we're going to give him a little smile that comes back around like that. So let me draw that for you again, because I know that there's going to be a few of you who really want to, me to draw it a couple of times. So I'll do it on this piece of paper for you. So let me just draw out, we've got our shell, we've got our body. Okay, so we're gonna go turn this around. So from the back of here, look guys, from the from his back of the shell, we're drawing a line up, just like that. We're going to draw a circle over, just like that. We're coming down, we're making a V, we're doing another circle and then we're coming back down and we're drawing in a smile and then you can draw in the eyes. However you want. I know everyone has a different style um, so you can kind of make your, your own mind up on that, okay? All right, does anybody have any questions before I move along again? Let me make sure. Hi, Logan. I'm sorry. Okay. Does anybody not hear me? Logan said he couldn't hear me, but now he can. I just want to make sure that everybody can hear me. Can anyone give me a thumbs up or just say that they can hear me? I would appreciate it. Let me see. Hi, Andreas. Thank you. Okay. So once you've done that, guys, and remember, as soon as I've posted this, you can go back and watch this over and over and over and over again. Um, you can pause it, you can rewind it, you can fast forward it. So don't feel like this is it. You, you know, watch it the best you can. You could make a sample copy and then redo it and redo it until you get it perfected. Okay, so once you've done that, look, I've joined up my mushroom and I'm going to draw in, in here, in the shell, I'm going to do a nice wiggle all the way around just like that so I started in the middle of the shell look doing a spiral and you can do that too you can either start on the outside or the inside so up to you now some of the things you can do for details guys on the mushroom you could Put these little almost look like little raindrops <coughs> um, all over your mushroom top and then when you're painting it or coloring it you could leave those white and paint the top of your mushroom red if you want to just like this one um, but you can really make these any color you want that's the fun thing about painting whimsical artwork is it does not have to be realistic it can it can be your version of, of whatever you want um, I'm just going to draw some grass in along the bottom, but you can put in anything. I'm going to actually attach a picture of this card so you can um, have a look at some of the other things on it. And if you want to add some leaves, maybe a couple of snails, you can. Um, maybe you want to put some flowers in. But the fun, the point of this class, guys, is just to have a quick little drawing together, keep you being creative, keep you motivated and inspiring you to draw at home together with your kids, with your family. I know Gillian Draws has been teaching all of her friends. Hi, Simon in England. I see you just popped on. Um, I know that Gillian was teaching some of her family members how to draw, which was really special and cool. And I've seen a lot of kids doing that. Um, they're taking some of our classes and they're teaching other people in their family how to draw. So it's really nice to see families are creating together. I think it's very, very important that everyone stays creative and using their imagination um, and remembering that all these skills that you're learning actually do help the kids in other aspects of of learning also. So here we go. I've made my little picture. I'm just going to paint a little bit for you guys. Um, you do not have to paint. You can 
um, use markers, you can do whatever you want. But I'm going to just paint a little bit for a few minutes so that you can um, you can have a little longer to look at the artwork. And I need a bigger paintbrush and of course it's out of reach. <laughs> All right. So do you guys have any questions while I'm drawing? Let me have a look. Well, if you keep messing up, so there's a message from one of the kids that she keeps messing up. If you keep messing up, that's good. Believe it or not, you're learning, uh, you're learning from it. If you always get everything perfect, you don't really learn anything. So when you when you mess up, you're learning not how to not do something, but also you might discover another way of doing something. So if you mess up, don't worry, just go slow, take a deep breath and have some patience and just keep practicing. So don't look at it that you're messing up, just look at it that you're, you're creating a collection of samples. So when you look at it in a different way, you'll learn that it's not as frustrating. So use those little samples and keep them and then you'll be able to look back on them and see how you've changed things or maybe get some ideas from them. Um, if you are using watercolors, guys, um, just realize that you can use just one color and you can make it so many different shades just by adding more water or less water. Um, and if you're not using watercolor and you're using markers, just you, you can actually use markers and still use them like watercolor and I'll show you how to do that. So if you have some markers at home and you'd like to try watercolors because watercolors are really fun and they're actually a lot easier to use than markers. They don't you, um, leave all the lines. I'm gonna show you how to do that with, let me have a look here. What color could I use? I'm gonna use some peachy kind of color. So I'm using a marker. I'm gonna color this in, look. But it's kind of hard work to color an entire thing in with a marker. It's really hard and then you end up with lots of different lines. So you put a little bit on there, look. I've just put a little bit of marker on my card and I've got some water on my brush. And now watch, it's stretching it out. You can't see it very much with this one because it's a light, light color. But if you go over it and drag it, now it looks like I've got a very pale version of it over this side. And depending on which color you use, if you use green, like if I use a dark green, it will it will be brighter for you to see. So let me show you it with dark green. So it's just a marker, guys, nothing special. I've got some water on my brush. And now look, it's let me drag that color over to the next leaf. And that's a really fun way of learning about different shades too, because you can see this was really dark a minute ago and it still is pretty dark, but just by wetting it slightly, I've been able to spread that marker out over that entire branch. And if I wanted there to be, you know, a couple of darker ones, I could color, color a couple in look so it doesn't look so odd. But can you see that guys really good? So you can use your markers as watercolors and it's really fun. So I'm going to just do a little bit more on my um, snail. I'm going to give him a fuchsia kind of pink shell just for fun. I'm going to spread that out with some water. Just like that. And let me just see if there's anybody, any more questions. You don't have any questions, Logan. Thank you, buddy. All right. So I'm not going to finish this off, guys. I'm just going to let you look at that for a second. But when, you, when you're when you done, you could 
open your piece of paper or your card and you could write something special to someone if you wanted. I'm just going to write snail mail. Just like that. Okay, so this was just a quick 20 minute class with you guys just to show you how to draw some snail mail and make, make your artwork into something different. So instead of just drawing a picture and keeping it in your drawing pad or pinning it on your wall, it, wouldn't it be nice to make something that you can feel really proud of and share it with someone that you love or care about? Um, so remember, you don't need to have a blank greeting card to do this. You can just use a regular piece of paper and fold it in half. Get, get a grown-up to fold it in half so that it's nice and even for you. Um, and if you wanted to do it rectangular, you could, you, could, you could have your paper this way, you could have your paper that way. So there's no wrong way of doing this. It's, it's however you want to create and however you want to do it. So this was really fun, guys. It was a fun little session for me. Um, and I look forward to seeing your drawings and there will be a prize. So I will um, announce a winner tonight at six o'clock like I always do. Um, I'm not sure what the prize is yet. Maybe I'll have to come up with something today and, and surprise you, but make sure you're watching at six o'clock. I'm gonna post this, these two little pictures right now um, for you right away because I always say that and then I always forget if I move from the desk. So I'm gonna do it immediately, I promise. And um, this was really fun, and thank you for being here, guys. It looks like there was a, quite a, there was a few of you here today, and it was nice to have you back. The studio is busy with our um, camp today. We're, we're making children's books with all the kids, and we ha we're teaching it virtually, too. So a busy, busy day for us here at the Giggling Pig. Thank you for being with us and spending time with us. And that's it, guys. I'll 